Hello my beautiful makeup lovers, thanks for tuning in and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do a palette roundup, which means I'm going to speak about a bunch of eyeshadow palettes that I've tried let's say in the last two or three months and that I hadn't had the chance to do a dedicated video to because mainly my first three months of the year were pretty crazy. I was moving, I had to travel a lot for work, in general work was pretty stressful so I just didn't have the time to really Film, which you probably noticed if you kind of follow me maybe um, you maybe noticed that I didn't have that much content but I'm trying to change this now slowly you know don't expect like now five videos a week which will probably never happen but you know I'm trying to be a bit more there and in these three months I tried a couple of eyeshadow palettes or eyeshadow collections of singles um, that I want to share my thoughts with you anyway on them so I just you know have that done because some of those I really want to speak about. These are not all the eyeshadow palettes that I've tried in these three months, but these are the ones that I actually have real thoughts on, let's say. So yeah, I don't think I want to say anything else. So let's just get started. So the first palette that I want to speak about is the Certify Affinity palette. Um, this is the original. They already released or about to release the second Affinity palette. Or Affinity 2. So this is the original one, so in case you don't get mixed up. Um, and this is how it looks like from the inside. Um, nice color story in general, all mattes, so there's no shimmer in here. And I was a bit hesitant to buy this because the last one that I reviewed from Certify, which was the one that they released prior to this one, was the Destiny palette. I have a hair here and it's really annoying. Um, and this one, the Destiny palette, I didn't enjoy too much. I have a review with this one up, which was like ages ago on my channel. Ages ago. <laughs> but very long ago in my perspective. And this one, I was like, hmm. And now, even after having it a little bit more, I hit hard pan on like half of the shades, which is like even more like, what the hell. And so I was a bit hesitant to order this one, but I was like, okay, I'm gonna give it another try. And I did or pre-order this one in December last year and I have it now for around four months and I gotta say this one is again a bit different like it's it's better than the Destiny palette this one does remind me why I do love Certify in the first place it plays it does remember me more on the Tropical Wonders palette it remembers me more reminds me more on the um, Dynasty palette and this one is definitely better quality again in my book um, compared to the Destiny palette. My god, all these names are so close together. And the only thing that I have with this one is what I basically have to say about almost every certified palette is that some shades are just too similar to each other. So I think that these three rows of pinks and purples could have been condensed to two. And these, also that these two rows of oranges, reds and yellows could have also been condensed to two so like a 12 pan palette would have been enough in my opinion with this color story but okay like the shades do have different nuances but it's they're pretty close together still and sometimes that bothers me a little bit but the pigmentation is really good especially like let me show you quickly for instance i don't know let's go with the color ritz which looks like this is a really good pigmentation. Also the yellow, very, very good. Ooh. These are terrible swatches, but I think you can see really good pigmentation. Let's swatch a purple as well. I don't know, maybe this one. The color Sana is the one in the middle here. And they all have really good pigmentation. And these are terrible swatches. I don't know what's wrong with me, but you know, um, you get the idea. So. Everything is really good, they blend out nicely, they last long, they don't have any kind of visible or bordering fallout, at least to me. And I do really enjoy grabbing for this one, I just wish it would be a bit smaller, but you know, kind of the certified theme, I guess, <laughs> to put very um, similar colors in one palette. But in this one it doesn't bother me as much as in the prior palettes. So I do like this palette, I'm happy I gave Certify this chance and I'm very intrigued to also pick up the new Certify Affinity palette. 
So I'll see if I buy this one and if I do I'll let you know and then hopefully in a dedicated review. The next palette I want to speak about is the Munasa palette from Blush Tribe, which as well as with the Affinity palette from Certify, I was a bit hesitant to order because of my experience with the prior release of the brand, which was the Fall Fusion palette, at least the last one that I got from them. And I was like, you know, I did, it was not like the Destiny palette where I was like, hmm, it was more of me like, okay, it's fine, but it's not what I know from Blush Tribe. But anyway, also here I was like, okay, let's, you know, I love blush stripes, so let's give it another try. And this is how it looks on the inside. And it's almost a rainbow palette, rainbow palette, but not quite. And I gotta say, it's really not the case. Like, this is really good. This is exactly how I know blush stripe from the Hasina's palettes, like the Hasina 1, Hasina 2, from the Blossom palette and all these other palettes that they released prior to the Full Fusion palette. And this one has such beautiful shimmers. I love the colors in here. They're like not the super typical color, you know, like this is not the super typical blue, these two, this is not a super typical teal turquoise shade. Very beautiful colors. Let me just show you. Let me just swatch you. Let me just swatch you Amanda, which is an absolutely nice blue with a purple touch in it so pretty i really love this shade like i could wear this all day long then also the color here kimberly which is the other blue shimmer this one is also so pretty you're not gonna believe it oh, beautiful beautiful and then let's also go in with the color aftab this one and this one is really really beautiful as well it might look a little bit similar in the swatches to the Kimberly color, but it's more sea foamy. Like Kimberly is way more blue, while this one is more the sea foam kind of um, shade. So very, very beautiful colors in there. Let me clean quickly my hands because there's one more other shade that I want to swatch for you. Okay. <laughs> Something happened outside apparently. Um, there's one other shade that I want to swatch for you, and this is the color Earth, which is a very, very beautiful matte. Um, very, very nice, very pigmented, very beautiful. I love to combine this one with one of those shades. It's just the most beautiful look ever. Like all these colors in here, they perform well, they're pigmented, they blend nicely, have a good long lastivity. All you want from an eyeshadow. You don't have too much fallout, especially with the shimmers, you actually don't have any fallout especially if you spritz them and that's amazing. I really, really love this palette. I think it's actually my new favorite blush strike palette. I think they did an amazing job on this one. I do remember or I do recall that it was designed for people with deeper complexion. So obviously I cannot just like, I cannot um, know if this is achieved here. But on pale complexion, it looks amazing. I really, really like it and I would recommend it definitely as one of the best palettes from, from Blush Stripe. Why is it so hard to say that? From Blush Stripe. Um, in case you want to pick up something there and you don't know really which one, I would say this one's a really good bet and I really like it. I'm really happy I picked it up. And I'm also happy they didn't do this big pants because I think that the big pants, they do have a different formula than the small pants that they produce. Like the big pants was also the Four Fusion and also the Paulina palette. And I also have the Paulina palette um, and both of those are okay-ish. Let's call them okay-ish. Uh, while the small pants, they are really good in my opinion. So I don't know, just stick to the small pants blush try, please. And let's move on to the next one. Okay, while we are already at um, UK indie brands, I have one trilogy here, let's say, from palettes um, that I ordered all together in a bundle. And these are the Misha Lu Cosmetics eyeshadow palettes, which is the Witchcraft palette, the, how's this one called? The Form palette, and then the Queen Bee palette. All three I bought together, they were in a bundle. I pre-ordered them, I believe, in September 
and last year and I got them like around end of November or something like this. So I ordered all of them. I already spoke about that I didn't really need this one in one of my other videos but you know still gonna review it here and I had high expectations on these three because I heard nothing but good things especially about this one here the witchcraft palette all good so Especially with the witchcraft palette, I had high expectations because I had pretty good reviews about this one. Like everybody I at least watched reviewing this palette had really good um, impression of it. And this is how it looks like, by the way. And I was really excited for it because it had a quite like this plummy green color story. It was really intriguing to me. I really liked that. I think it's beautiful. But I gotta say, I don't particularly enjoy this palette. I don't think it's really good. I'm sorry, I don't know, maybe I'm doing something wrong, but I don't feel like, especially this shade here, this green matte, which could be so beautiful, is like so hard pressed, I don't know. Like I really swirl my finger in here, you know? I'm not trying to get as much as I can. And then, I don't know, what, what is this? What, what is this? And this green here, the other green matte is a little bit better. It's not that hard pressed. So you can see, especially in comparison to the other one, but it's also not mind blowing like from the pigmentation. So, and I also have a really hard time building this up. Like I thought, okay, maybe I can build them up nicely, but also building them up, especially with this one here is like impossible. I don't know how people created the looks they created with this palette that I saw on the internet. So, I don't know. Um, but this one is especially so hard pressed, I don't know, like, I, I used it several times and I can still see the initial pattern in it, you know, the pressing pattern. So I'm like, huh. Um, the shimmers are also, like, you do have, like, kind of two different shimmers in here. Shimmer styles, you have this more satin style, which is this color, this color, this color, and this color. And then you have the more foiled ones, which is the color Maiden and the color Magic. And then you have a black matte and a brown matte and another brown matte. <laughs> and I gotta say, I'm also not the biggest fan of these more satin finishes of shades. I think they are also... Like, I, I do like satin shades, like it's not that I don't like satin shades or anything, I do think they can be pretty. But especially when you, for instance, gonna swatch the crescent, it's not bad, you know, like, it does go on okay and it does have a little bit of reflect to it, but it's not crazy nice. Like, I don't find it super impressive from the whole color theme either. The color magic, on the other hand, is pretty... It's a bit crumbly, I gotta have to tell you that, but this one is pretty nice. This one I really like, as well as the color White Witch, which is kind of like a pearl base with like a green shift in it. I don't know if you can see the green shift, but it's very beautiful, the green shift. So there are a couple of shades in there that I do like. But honestly, like the majority of the shades I could very well live without and I just don't, I don't understand the hype around this one. I really don't. I, I, I don't, maybe I'm doing something wrong. It could be always me, but I, I don't think that this is a very good palette. The other two, like the Fawn palette, I gotta tell, I'm, I picked this up because it was in the bundle, but um, I don't use it a lot, to be entirely honest. I think it's a pretty decent neutral palette. I really especially like this color Water Reflects. That's actually a pretty special shade, I gotta tell you. It looks like this, and this one is really fun. This is what I want. This is what I want from these ones. And this one is really pretty. This shade I do use quite a bit, you know? I had a time where I really loved to put this like on all over my lid beautiful and also this color woodland sunset is really pretty it's like a peachy like iridescent peachy very beautiful and yeah so you do have i mean like it's a neutral palette so it's only as exciting as it gets but this one i do think is 
like from the shimmers and everything is much better than the witchcraft palette i wish there would have been more consistency within the palettes so this one i if you look if you want to buy this and you're really into neutrals i don't think you will have a bad time with this one i do think it's even a neutral with a little bit of a twist because it has like also like a gray brown and also like which is called color water reflects that i swatched i think with this you have actually a pretty nice neutral palette but to be honest it's a neutral palette there are plenty like those outside there except of this one shade which is the shade water reflects which might be a bit unique to this palette but besides that i don't think you need to run out and get it either and then the last one is the queen bee palette which looks like this this one actually only has three mattes which is pretty good because they're also not that great but in the end it's good because it leaves a space for the other shimmers and the shimmers in this one are actually pretty pretty nice this one crown jewels is very beautiful very very beautiful then also the shade which one was it this one the throne very 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 nice i really like this one and also i really enjoy the color nectar which is this one here uh, i'm also gonna swatch it for you like these three shades are very beautiful and all the other shimmers in here are also amazing i really like the shimmers in this one i think this is the best palette of the whole bunch of the bundle of the three and I just don't think they have really good grip on mattes. I don't like the matte formula. Also in here, they are not that pigmented, really hard to build up. Um, in general, the shimmer shades and all palettes, they stay on your lid. They're not gonna have a lot of fallout, except of the color Magic in the Witchcraft palette, the one that was a bit crumbly. And yeah, they have good long lastivity, um, but I think like in terms of uniqueness, I think this is the only one where I really say, this is a nice color story and it's also performing well. Like the witchcraft palette could be nice, but in my opinion it's not. I mean, it's so hard to say this kind of things. I know there are people behind this who put an effort to create this, but I just I just don't, don't understand the hype around this one. This one, on the other hand, I think is very beautiful. So if you are interested to pick up one of those, I would recommend you this one. I think this one is quality wise and in terms of uniqueness from the colors the best one and yeah so i guess we're just gonna leave it like this um i'm sorry if, if you love those palettes you know like don't feel offended i can get this i also have palettes that i love a lot and other people hate them so i guess that's just a way of preferences and everything so let, let's stay let's stay calm about it um and let's move on okay so the next one that i want to talk about is actually a gift that i got from a friend a very generous gift <laughs> i gotta tell you but and i was a bit like when she gave me that i was a bit shocked not because let me show you it's the koi palette from viseart i'm gonna open it because it just has a this reflective cover in plastic so this is the koi palette this one is from Viseart and prior to this one I tried the Petit Pro 2 I believe it was and I didn't like the shimmers at all like at all and then my friend gifted me this and I was like oh an all shimmer palette from Viseart I was this close to say like uh, maybe you should you know return i don't know i didn't want to be impolite uh, mm. i thought okay whatever i'm you know i speak to her i think about it and i speak to her again and then i actually went on online in the internet and i watched a couple of videos of people that actually gave this one a pretty good review and also i knew that did they they did change their shimmer formula since the grand pro grand pro volume 2 which is like the big one with all shimmers and I thought you know people seem to like this and they changed the formula so maybe this is good so in the end I could have always sold it and I did try it and I gotta tell you I'm happy I did because I love this palette this is a really amazing palette this has like this kind of 
iridescent shades it's, it's not like if you only in the market if for you a shimmer shade is only good if it's like the super fault metallic formula then this is also not gonna be a thing because some of them are pretty opaque and foiled but this is more about iridescent shimmers this is more about you know playing with the consistency and layering it with other shades rather than only having this ones even though these ones you can only use them on yourself the skin is not gonna peek through but it's more about this iridescent duochrome theme rather than offering crazy metallic shimmers which are super foiled and yeah let me just show you like i don't know this one here is very very beautiful it's like a peachy one i don't know how much it's gonna show up it's very difficult to swatch because it is iridescent peachy duochrome and my skin is pretty peachy so <laughs> i hope you can see it from this angle how it looks like more or less very beautiful let's swatch one that's maybe easier to pick up by the camera this one here the blue looks very beautiful as well very very beautiful it's just these on top of a dark matte shimmer they are a dark matte what am i talking about dark matte so beautiful i love those really i could do my eye makeup every day with these shades i love this kind of shades and this is really what i'm all about these days is this kind of shimmer shades which are just have this iridescence that is absolutely beautiful and these ones really do have that and the only thing is they have quite a bit of fallout so if you mind that be aware of this but if you use them wet you're not gonna have too many troubles this palette is really i i think they did improve the shimmer formula at least in comparison to the petit pro 2 I don't have that one anymore otherwise I would make comparison swatches but this one is really pretty I really really like this one and I'm all about this iridescent vibe these days like I just want to put like iridescent shades on my lid on top of a dark matte like I, I really have to resist not to only do that but this one is not helping this so Beautiful palette. I'm really happy that I got it as a present and I'm so happy I gave it a try and absolutely lovely. I love this one. Let's move on. So the next palette that I tried um, during the last month is one that I was really curious about and in the end I did pick it up and it's a pricey one and it's the Natasha Denona Safari palette. I know this one is old news like some of these palettes are really old news. I just wanted to let you know how I feel about them. Because, you know, for to me they are new. <laughs> and this one is also not that young anymore, even though it actually is, you know. It's like, I don't know, like half a year ago that it has been released. So not that long. And I love the Natasha Denona matte formula. I really do. And that's why I was so intrigued to buy this one, but also so torn apart because I heard so many horrific reviews and so many good reviews. I saw people putting this in the worst of 2018 and people putting it in the best of 2018. So I was really like, what's up with this palette? And that's how it looks like from the inside. And I can understand both. You know, now that after testing out this one, I do understand both people, um, both types of people both parts of people you know the ones who hate it and the ones who love it because i gotta tell you these two rows here this one and this one they are nice they're really nice they're creamy and they're exactly how i know my other natasha denona mattes and the palettes that i own from her which are the lila palette and the gold palette where i absolutely love the mattes in there and these are exactly the effortless mattes of Natasha Denona you can just you know with one swipe feels like you have already the perfect crease and I really love those but then it comes these four cool tones here which are somehow very different with this ones I really do have to work to make them look good on me it's not it's not like with the witchcraft palette you know where I just cannot make it work and look good for what well, doesn't matter what I do I can make it look I can make it look good but it's not gonna be like easy like I not like with these ones you know it's gonna be more effort than I'm used to with Natasha Denona 
And I gotta tell you, for a palette of $129, you do want every shade to be on point. Like, let me show you. Mm, let's, for instance, I don't know, this shade Fada Morgana. Uh -oh. But, okay, I was a bit bad swatched, I admit that, okay? But this is exactly the problem. It's super skippy, it's super weird to work with, and usually, like, if you take, for instance, this color, Maasai, and you go back and forth with it, this is not gonna happen, you know? It's gonna be nice and pretty. I mean, this is now pretty blended out, but this is exactly the problem with these shades, this, this cool tone shades here, is that they're kind of skippy, they're just a weird texture, like almost shulky. I would call them like shulky. And yeah, so I can understand why people have a bad time with this one. I mean, if you're mostly interested in these shades and wouldn't use these shades anyway, maybe it's a good deal if you love Natasha Denona and you want to spend this $129. But personally, I would say it's not a must-have from her. Um, she does have better palettes, even though I do really love, like especially this one that I swatched, the Maasai one and also the Desert Date. Is it called Desert Date? Yes. Desert Date and I also really like Lotus and Tribe. Let me swatch them a little bit. Give me a moment. Okay, my hands are clean now again. So for instance, this one here, Desert Date, absolutely beautiful. I really, really like this one. Very beautiful, very creamy, easy to apply. The color Lotus, I don't know if it's gonna show up too much. Oh yeah, it does. And this one, like this one in the crease, and then like a very nice, um, colorful, darker one, you know, to darken up the look, it's gonna look so pretty. And then also the color Tribe, for instance, is very, very nice. I really like that one as well. But I gotta tell you, these cool tone ones here, they're, they're just not what I am used to with Natasha Denona. And I, I understand when people are mad about this, you know, like in, if it's like a $20 palette and four shades out of 15 are not that bomb, you know, you're like, okay, whatever. But if it's a $129 palette and four shades out of 15 are not great, then you're like, okay, they are, they are going my dollars down the drain. Anyway, so yeah. Probably not the one I would recommend if you are asking me like which palette of Natasha Denona you should pick up, but I'm still not mad that I have it, especially for these two rows in this one shade here. Um, it's a pity because these four cool tones are actually really cool colors, but yeah. I don't know, I'm not mad about it because yeah, like I said, these rows are, are pretty, I like them, but I wish this would be better here, these four shades down here, um, but yeah. I can make it work and I do make it work once in a while because it does have a really pretty result um, but it's a little bit more a pain in the ass than I'm used to with Natasha Denona. So far so much for the Safari palette. Okay let's talk about the last item. It's the last one. You made it. You made it. Um, the last one is a collection of singles that I acquired from Cleona Cosmetics which I pre-ordered I think in like November last year and I got them like in the end of December or something like this so I also have them now quite some time and this is the 66.5 degrees north collection I should have looked at that before I speak about it but I think that's how it's called and these are 24 shades so this is the whole collection gotta tell you the mattes in here, <laughs> you know, I should have known better. I don't like the mattes from the Palio and the Archeo palette. I don't like a couple of single mattes that I have from them, except on one. One is fine, I find pretty decent. And I don't like the mattes in this collection either. Like, this is a matte, this one is a matte, this one, this one, this one, and this one. This one is kind of okay. It's like a a green with like a little bit of a blue reflect in it, which it's still a matte. I don't know if it's gonna show up that way. Like this one is pretty decent. Like when you swatch them, you think like, wow, amazing. But this is such a shulky formula. And this one is the best one. Like this one, you can actually make work nicely on your lid. 
but the other ones are just so shulky and when you swatch them they actually do look good I don't know let's maybe swatch this one like you do think like oh that's pretty you know but when you blend them out they start to skip a lot they are very a little bit like the Natasha Denona ones that I just mentioned they just start to get skippy you know like they just start to skip on you and cling on weird patches of your eyes you know on make your eyes like your, your crease look very textured even though you don't really have that and I don't really enjoy that obviously and then we have a couple of um, shimmers in here that don't really work for me which is mainly here the color permafrost this is one it looks like this and it's quite okay but it's it's just a bit too sheer for my taste like I would like this to be a bit more um, opaque like it's that sheer that you really have to pack it on to a point that it looks a little bit weird um, for it to be opaque on its own so I don't really by the way I'm sorry if you hear my husband playing with a dog but that's how it is um, and also the shade here this shade is called tree lines which is also not the best shimmer that I've ever seen it's kind of pretty it's kind of pretty but also nothing like where you're like wow and it also lacks this op opacity opacity like the color permafrost does these two and yeah so these two are not the best and then I have a little bit of a problem with this color here which is a like a shimmer green this one it's called climate change and this one is pretty but this one for some reason first of all it has a lot of fallout as you could maybe see this one for some reason creases on me like so fast but so fast like none of the other shades does none of the other shades creases on me fast but this one for some reason if I wear it longer I it immediately doesn't matter if I wear an eyeshadow primer or whatever I just look horrific I just look horrific with this one I don't know what it is but yeah I'm I don't know okay so now I showed you all the bad things but all the other ones I do like so all together is one two three four five six seven eight nine out of 24 shades that I don't like I think there's a little bit too much shades but on the other hand all the other shades I really 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 love like this one here this one I have to actually look up Alpine absolutely beautiful this is a beautiful shimmer that's how I want all of them to be you know and also I don't know this purple here is also absolutely stunning very beautiful they do all have a little bit of fallout but nothing you cannot fix with a little bit fix plus on your brush and like most of the collection on actually not most like a little bit less than two-thirds of the collection are beautiful so I would recommend you if you pick this or if you want to pick this up try to skip the mattes maybe this one is fine the color ice alga this one this green one that I have swatched here this one is pretty okay like maybe give this one a try you know maybe it's for you but the other mattes I would say skip them and also the color permafrost, tree lines and climate change I would recommend to skip all the others of this collection like if you go to the Cleona website I would say you can really buy them you can buy them all singly or in a bundle I wouldn't say the bundle is worth it and yeah the mattes I think you can skip as I said and also the color permafrost, tree lines and climate change besides that I think this is a very beautiful collection color story wise really nice all the other shimmers I love them so much like I have for instance also there do I have it here one second I have their um, witchcraft and alchemy collection which is the duochrome shimmers and this collection I absolutely adore I think they still have it available like on the website so if you want a collection from them I would recommend you this one rather than the 66.5 degrees north collection which is this one 
and um, yeah so that's just what I wanted to say my pants are full of eyeshadow now look so pretty these two <laughs> and yeah so this collection not my favorite from Cleona Cosmetics um, don't think it's bad bad either I can make the mattes work somehow this mat is not that bad the free shimmers it's a pity but there are plenty of other shimmers to choose from so I do reach for it I do really um, but usually I use my Sydney Grace matte singles in, you know in conjunction with this one and then I just stay away from this free shimmer shades that I already mentioned and then I'm really in love with this collection so from my experience I would say there are a couple of shades you can skip as I said and yeah in case you wanted that so my dog really wanted to come inside here say hello hello <laughs> this is the one that always disturbs all my videos but it's okay because he's cute as hell um but that's it that's all the things i wanted to talk about so i can actually allow him now to be crazy around and yeah let me know if you tried any of those things that I was talking here about and what are your experience with those palettes or singles. Those are just a couple of the things that I tried. I'm sorry I wasn't able to film as many reviews as I wanted to clearly and as you maybe wanted to see from me. I try to get better now again. I'm all moved in, not all moved in, but things are calming down. Work gets a little less stressy and therefore, yeah, I hope we will see each other more often now. And yeah, so let me know in the comments down below what you think. Please also give this video a thumbs up if you like this kind of videos. Please consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. So we can see each other in my next video. Bye bye!